All right, so now let's do this question. Given a linear pattern, 12, 17, 22, and 172, so let's just write that. So this we have 12, we have 17, we have 22, and then this goes up to 172, okay? So we first have to determine the nth term of the pattern. So, okay, what is the nth term? So the nth term of the pattern, that is Tn. So they want us to find Tn because this is the nth term of the pattern. Okay. It's like if they said the fifth term, that would be T5 because this is the fifth term. Okay. Now we want to find the nth term of the pattern. Okay, so if they said the kth term, that will be T K. Okay. Okay. So now that we know that we want T N, let's try to find T N. Now we have a general formula that we have to use, which is going to be A plus N minus one D. Okay. Try to find the general term of this sequence, and then we are going to do it together after. All right, so the first thing we need to get is the difference. So we have to find the difference. So we can say 17 minus 12, and then we are going to get five, and then say 22 minus 17, and we are also going to get five. So we can see that our difference is equals to five. And then A is just equals to 12. So therefore, let's, let's write our formula and say Tn is equal to A plus n minus 1 d okay now that we have a we can then substitute and say this is going to be 12 a is 12 plus n minus 1 d d is 5 okay then we can distribute inside and say this will times multiply that and this will multiply that and then we get that this is 12 plus 5 n 5 times n that's 5 n minus 5 so this is going to be 5n plus 7. So that's our Tn. So this is the general term of the sequence. Okay, now the second question is saying calculate T12. Right. Now that we have the general term, we can therefore calculate any term that we want of the sequence. This is 5n plus 7. So they want T12. Let's just substitute 12 where there is n. So t12 is going to be 5 t12. It's going to be 5 times 12 plus 7. Okay, then let's just use our calculator tool. Find that. So this is going to be 5 times 12 plus 7, which is 67. Okay. So therefore t12 is equal to 67. We are able to do this because we have the general term, which enables us to calculate any term of the sequence. Okay, so now the third question is saying we need to determine the number of terms in the pattern. So what is the question actually asking us when they are asking the number of terms in the pattern? So as you can see that our pattern starts from 12, 17, 22, up to 172. So 172 is the last term. Okay. Now, since 172 is the last term, we need to know which position is 172 lying at. Because you can see 12 lies at the first position, 17 at the second, 22 at the third, then 172 lies at the nth position, the position we do not know. So therefore 172 is going to be Tn because it's the last term, okay? It's the last term is going to be Tn. Let's write our formula. So this is Tn equals to 5n plus seven. Now, 172 is the last term. It's going to be Tn. So this is going to be 172 equals to 5n plus seven. And then if we solve for this, for n, we can actually get which position um, 
172 is at. So therefore let's solve this equation by taking 7 to the other side and getting 172 minus 7 which is equal to 5m. Okay, therefore we can divide by 5 both sides, divide by 5 both sides. Okay, this will cancel that. So that we are going to have 172 minus 7, we can use the calculator that's 165 over 5 equals to n 165 divided by 5 that is going to be 33 okay equals to n so now we know that the number of terms in this pattern are 33 we have 33 terms okay so now we know that 172 is t 33 is equal to 172 Okay, now let's move to 3.2, which says, given the first four terms of a linear pattern, linear pattern, same thing as arithmetic, 3x, y, daddy. So we have 3x, y, and daddy as uh, four terms of an arithmetic or linear pattern. We want to find x and y. What do we know about an arithmetic or linear pattern? Please uh, choose the correct answer. What is what do we know about an arithmetic uh, pattern? Yes, of course. So you had to choose that. What we know is that they they have a constant difference. So we know that if we say x minus three and y minus x and d d minus y, always starting with the right minus left. The right minus left the right minus left okay we know what do we know we know that they are equal so x minus 3 is equal to y minus x okay because that's the difference even though it's expressed in terms of numbers combined variables but we know that this is our difference so they are equal x minus 3 is equal to y minus x so we can therefore write that and say okay we know that x minus 3 is equal to y minus x. This is what we know. And also what we know is that y minus x is equal to uh, 30 minus y. We, we know that because this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so therefore we can solve for x and y uh, simultaneously using these two equations. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take x to the other side. So I'm going to have x. So this negative x is going to plus x minus 3 equal to y, which is going to be 2x minus 3 equal to y. Just took x to the other side and then got this equation. And on this equation, whenever there's y, I'm going to put this equation. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to put 2x minus 3 Okay, minus x equals to 30 minus, I'm going to put it in brackets on the side, I'm going to write 2x minus 3. Okay, so whenever there is y, I'm putting 2x minus 3. Since from this, y is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, so then let's solve for x from this equation. So I'm going to take, let's say, 2x minus x that's going to be x minus 3 equals to 30 minus 2x plus 3 okay and then I'm going to take x to the same side uh, this is going to be x plus 2x when you are taking negative 2x to the other side and this is going to be 30 plus 3 plus 3 this is going to be positive on the other side therefore this is going to be 3x equals to 36 divide by 3, divide by 3, this is going to be x equals to, equal to 12. And then we can go back to our equation and substitute x equals to 12. So this is going to be y equals to 2, 12 minus 3, okay, which is going to give us 21.